Okay. We have a right circular cylinder inside a cone of height 8 and base radius 4. We have to figure out the largest possible volume of such a cylinder. We're going to go ahead and give some names to the dimensions of the cylinder. H for height, R for radius, volume is pi r squared h. That's our objective. Now the question is, what is the constraint? You can stare at this for a really long time before realizing what to do. So I'm just going to sort of give it away. We want to think about this yellow triangle and we want to make the observation that the yellow triangle is similar to this green triangle is similar to this purple triangle. Reason being they are right triangles that share an angle other than the right angle. Okay, what can we do with that observation? Well, let me zoom in accurately here. This is R, and this distance is 8 minus H. Likewise, this is H, and this distance is 4 minus R. Now the question is, what do we know about the big triangle? The easiest way to phrase what we know is, in terms of slope, the slope of this line is 8 over 4. So the easiest thing to use actually then is going to be h over 4 minus r equals 2. And that tells us that h equals 8 minus 2r. And that's all we need to get volume in terms of one single variable. Okay, so I'm going to finish this out here. 8 pi r squared minus... 2 pi r cubed. Let's take the derivative. Okay. 16 pi r minus 6 pi r squared. That's the same as 2 pi r times 8 minus 3 r. If we're setting that equal to 0, this tells us r equals 8 over 3. You can go back and plug that in. h was 8 minus 2r, which is 8 minus 16 over 3. What's that? 24 over 3 minus 16 over 3 is 8 over 3. Turns out the radius and the height are going to be the same, which tells us the volume pi r squared h is pi 8 thirds cubed. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too boring and it also wasn't too quick. Remember the key observation here was to exploit the 
geometric relationship involved with this triangle.